Number 1, GeForce RTX 4090. Specifications. GPU, ADA at 102 GPU cores, 16384, boost clock, 2520 MHz video RAM, 24GB Jeter 6x 21GB per second, TBP, 450 watts. Reasons to buy, plus the fastest GPU, period, plus excellent 4000 and maybe even 8000 gaming, plus powerful ray tracing hardware, plus DLS and now DLS3, plus 24 GB is great for content creation workloads. Reasons to avoid, extreme price and power requirements, needs a fast CPU and large SU, frame generation is a bit gimmicky. For some, the best graphics card is the fastest card, pricing be. Damned, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4090 caters to precisely this category of user. It's also the debut of NVIDIA's brand new ADA, Lovelace Architecture. And as such will represent the most potent card NVIDIA has to offer, at least until the inevitable RTX 4090 Ti shows up. Number 2, Radeon Arc 7900 XTX. Specifications, GPU, Navi 31 GPU cores, 1 to 288, boost clock, 2500 MHz video RAM, 24 GB GDDR6 20 GB per second, TBP, 355 watts. Reasons to buy, plus great overall performance, plus lots of RAM and cache, plus great for non-RT workloads plus good spec view perf results. Reasons to avoid. 1000 starting price. Much slower RT performance. Weak in AI deep learning workloads. The Red Team King is dead. Long live the Red Team King. AMD's Radeon Arc 7900 XTX has supplanted the previous generation, Arc 6950 XT at the top of the charts, with a price bump to match, ostensibly priced at $999, it sold out almost immediately. But supply has now caught up to demand, and there's good reason for the demand, as the 7900 XTX comes packing AMD's latest Arna 3 architecture. Number 3, Radeon Arc 6600. Specifications. GPU, Navi 23 GPU cores, 1792. Boost clock, 2491 MHz video RAM, 8 GB GDDR6 14 GB per second. TBP, 130 to watts. Reasons to buy, plus power efficient. Plus runs 108 OP max settings and 60 Fs, plus typically costs close to $200. Reasons to avoid. Not good for ray tracing. Only 8 GB RAM. The Radeon Arc 6600 takes everything good about the 6650 XT. Below, then scales it back slightly. It's about 15% slower overall, just a bit behind the RTX 3060 as well in non-RT games, but in. Our testing it was still 30% faster than the RTX 3050. Prices are all the way down to $199 now, making this an extremely attractive option if you're on a budget. 3. Radeon Arc 6650 XT Specifications GPU, Navi 23 GPU cores, 2048, boost clock, 2635 MHz video RAM, 8 GB GDDR6 18 GBPS, TBP, 180 watts. Reasons to buy, plus often faster than RTX 3060 plus power efficient design, plus good 1080p performance, plus available well below MSRP. Reasons to avoid, only 8 GB of RAM on a 1 to 8 bit bus, poor ray tracing performance. AMD's mainstream GPUs at present use the Navi 23 architecture that's set to be replaced sometime soon by Navi 32 and Navi 33, but those cards aren't here yet. The Arc 6650 XT is a refresh and replacement for the existing Arc 6600 XT, offering slightly more performance at basically the same price. It's the second best value overall, right behind the Arc 6600, but gives a bit more oomph for your Fs. Number 5, GeForce RTX 4070. 
Specifications GPU at 1 0 for GPU cores 5888, boost clock 2475 MHz video RAM 12 GB Jeter 6x21 GBPS TBP 200 watts. Reasons to buy plus excellent efficiency and good performance plus good for 1440p gaming plus DLS, DLS3, and DXR features. Reasons to avoid generational price hike. Frame generation marketing, minus 12 gigabyte may not be enough for future games. We're in the midst of a transition between old and new generation GPUs, and it leads to some difficult decisions. The RTX 4070 didn't blow us away with extreme performance or value, but it's generally equal to the previous generation RTX 3080. Comes with the latest data Lovelace architecture and features, and costs $100 less though the RTX 3080 and above are basically discontinued now. Number 6, GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. Specifications, GPU, at 104 GPU cores, 7680 boost clock, 2610 MHz video RAM, 12 GB Jeter 6x21 GBPS TBP 285 watts. Reasons to buy, plus beats previous generation RTX 3080 Ti, plus can mostly do 4000 at 60Fs or more, plus DLS, DLS3, and DXR performance. Reasons to avoid, big generational price hike. 800 plus for a 70 class model, overkill for 1080p displays. The RTX 4070 Ti is the higher performance, higher price NVIDIA, add 104 Pro Genitor, and it drew a lot of flack for its high price at launch. It's $200 more expensive than the outgoing RTX 3070 Ti, and while it's definitely the faster card, it's not that much better than the previous generation RTX 3080. You're not given the option to pay more for more performance, and the latest Ada Lovelace architecture and features. Number 7, Radeon Arc 7900 XT. Specifications, GPU, Arna 3 Navi 31 GPU cores, 5376-10-752, boost clock, 2400 MHz video RAM, 20 GB GDDR620 GBPS, TBP, 315 watts. Reasons to buy, plus lots of fast VRAM, plus now available for $100 below MSRP, plus great for up to 4000 with rasterization. Reasons to avoid, much slower in DXR games, the MSRP was too high at launch. With prices heading up on previous generation cards, we are left looking for the best options. AMD's new RX 7900XT generally beats the RTX 4070 Ti above in rasterization performance but trails by quite a bit in ray tracing games though thankfully the extra $100 in MSRP has now effectively evaporated. That brings price parity from AMD and you get all the latest. AMD Arna 3 Architectural Updates Number 8, Radeon Arc 6700 XT Specifications, GPU, Navi 22 GPU cores, 2560 boost clock, 2581 MHz video RAM, 12 GB GDDR6 16 GB per second, TBP, 230 watts. Reasons to buy, plus great 1080p and 1440p performance, plus plenty of RAM, plus good price to performance ratio. Reasons to avoid, weaker RT performance, fur to can't defeat DLS, future Arna 3 models. Start with the Navi 21 GPU and then cut down the various functional units to create a smaller die that can sell it lower. Prices and you have AMD's Navi 22 and the ARC 6700 XT. The ARC 6750 XT is basically the same GPU, with slightly higher clock speeds, memory speeds, and power consumption about 5% faster. Overall, give some thought to the ARC 6710GB as well, which offers less performance but also costs less. Number 9, GeForce RTX 3060. Specifications, GPU, 
Ampere GA 106 GPU cores, 3840 boost clock, 1777 MHz video RAM, 12 GB GDDR6 15 GBPS TBP, 170 watts. Reasons to buy, plus good 1080p 1440p performance, plus plenty of RAM for the future, plus decent value now. Reasons to avoid. Tied with the old RTX 2070, only one 9-bit bus. Maybe a future RTX 4060 will be good? As we enter the lower end of the price and performance ladder, we have to switch back to NVIDIA's Ampere architecture. And we're not looking at the top Ampere GPUs, so the cuts to processing power become more significant. The RTX 3060 uses NVIDIA's GA 106 GPU. With a 192 bit memory interface and 12 GB of RAM, that's quite a bit better than the RTX 3050 but still a big step down from the GA 104 chip used in RTX 3060 Ti, which has 36% more GPU cores. A T lease the cards now start at close to $300. Number 10, Radeon Arc 6800. Specifications GPU. Navi 21 GPU cores, 3840 boost clock, 2105 MHz video RAM, 16 GB GDDR6 16 GBPS, TBP, 250 watts. Reasons to buy, plus easily handles 1440p, plus lots of RAM for the future, plus impressive infinity cache. Reasons to avoid, fur 2.0 needs wider adoption, weak ray tracing performance. Arna 3 is now here. AMD's Navi 21 GPUs like the Radeon Arc 6800 can still represent a better value than some of the latest editions, though the supply of the various models including the 6800 XT, 6900 XT, and 6950 XT seems to fluctuate a lot. The Arc 6800 comes as the lowest priced version and provides Good rasterization performance with plenty of RAM. It can even handle ray tracing games at 1080p as well, thanks to the Arna 2 architecture. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.